You got it, man. You got it. Go ahead. Verse 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and he vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. Hold up. The, the Lord spoke to the fish. Mm. So I, the fish was able to follow the order. Yeah, kind But of. here it is. You couldn't follow the order. Wow. Mm. You know? Freaking fish could follow the order. The Lord spoke to the fish. Spit him out. <laughs> I do. Kinda. Spit that dude out, man. That dude probably, but when he came out that fish, man, uh, dude, if they would have had a Snapchat, man, or an Instagram, or <laughs> selfie yes. stick, man, yes, that, that yeah. dude would have been looking so humble, man. Kinda. So humble, man. He was a total different. In three days, the, the Lord made him a total different person. Kinda. A total night and day, man. Yeah. What you got, brother? Kinda. We got Sirach 11 and 25. Kinda. It says, in the day of prosperity, mm -hmm. there is a... A forgetfulness of affliction. See, when you yeah. when you living it up, everything going good for you, you forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You forget. Hey, hey, we all forgot at one time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because you you thinking this you think this America's prosperity. Yeah. You know? That's why y'all should be forgetting, man. Yeah, yeah. that's what the law got to hinder you. Going back to what we brought. Yeah, that's the first, first precept. Yep. 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 Come, and in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance. Of prosperity. Mm. In the mm. day of affliction, mm. there's no more remembrance of prosperity. Yeah. All right, you're going to forget all that, man. Yeah. Yo, you're going to forget about the awards you made, mm -hmm. all the chicks that you was boning. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't thinking about none of that, man. Okay. No money, no nothing. Yep. Yeah. Keep going. Yep. Verse 26. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to award a man according to his ways. It's an easy thing. Wow. To reward you according to your ways, bring you back in another life, bring you bring you back jacked up. Matter of fact, let me get that revelation. Revelation eight and eight. Keep going. Verse twenty-seven. The affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure. A affliction of an hour it makes any man forget pleasure, man. Yeah. Any yeah. man. Oh. Go ahead. And in his and in his end, his Jesus. deeds. Shall be discovered. Say again. It, it says, and in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. And bring it and, down. And in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. So here it is, right when you reach your, your last hour, that's when the most size gonna play back everything that you did. And guess what? You're gonna realize you ain't do nothing in your life, man. Mm -hmm. The brother was talking about before, you didn't do nothing with your life. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's best that brothers that constantly keep pushing. That within this time that you do have, that the most high bless you to um, sustain yourself with, what, what are you going to do? You need to push this through because tomorrow's not promised, man. Tomorrow's not uh, promised, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tomorrow's not promised. You said that right, brother. Go ahead. It says, verse 28, <laughs> judge none, judge none, blessed before. That's it, that's it, brother. That's okay, it. Okay, okay. That's it, that's it. Go ahead. Right. Um, this Revelation is 18 and 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried. Weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships. Mm. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Because they was prospering. Yeah. America was prospering. Go ahead. In the sea by reason of her costliness. Costliness. Wow. Go ahead. For in one hour. One hour, man. We're going to take America one hour to get the hell up out of here, man. It's kind of uh, That's what the Bible says, man. One hour. Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Is she made desolate. Made desolate, man. So, hey, that's how the most high give it up, man. It's a small thing for him to bring you down low, man. That's what, that's what he, 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 uh, he's, he's mastered that, man. Uh, yeah. He put things up and look, put things down. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, his thing, man. Yeah. God. You know, that's what, that's how he get down. God. That's on that? That's it. Bro. Okay. God. Anybody got something? Uh, nah, you go. Let me get, um, Isaiah 8 and 14 through 15, but then let me get, what's name, brother, um, uh, 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 Jonah 3, Jonah 3, 1 through 4. We're going we gonna to end it off with that. Jonah 3, 1 through 4. Isaiah, why you want to? Give me Isaiah 4, 8 and 14 through 15. No, 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 don't, just hold it, just hold it. Let me finish it. And then give me Job 9 and 11. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, brother. Jonah 3 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Verse 2. Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city. So now the Most High gave him a second chance. Mm. Second chance. That's a blessing. You mm. see? He said he gave him a second time. He said it a second time. You think Jonah, you think after Jonah got spit out that damn uh, uh, whale's mouth, you, you, you think he's not going to do it now? 
you and I'm gonna show you how on fire Jonah was. Yeah. Go ahead. Preaching that I bid thee. Uh huh. Verse three. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh. Uh huh. According to the word of the Lord. Go ahead. Now Nineveh was an exceeding. According to the word of the Lord. The word. Now he's doing it according oh, to the word God. of the Lord. God. Go ahead. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. Right. So oh. to, to, get, to get to Nineveh from where he was at, it would, it would take three days. Good. Let's see how fast Jonah got there. It was four, and Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. A uh, day. Okay? So the most I put the fire on his bomb. I'm saying boat. That dude was running. Uh, See, you, uh, you, you, you walk. He, he ran in Nineveh. That's the motivation, bro. He couldn't, he couldn't wait to go to camp. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, All you got to do is y'all still be walking on slow. Hey, Shalom. Exactly. Shalom, my. Uh, hey, I eat you. Yo, Shalom, my. Exactly. Hey, you want me to hold up a No, Jonah. Shalom. Matter of fact, you call him brother, get up in the morning. Hey, brother, how you doing? Man, I'm already out here at camp. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, at, camp. I'm at camp right now. I, 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 stayed, I stayed last night. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I slept in. Right. Uh, yeah. The most I'm going to put the film like you do. Y'all going to be start camping the yeah. day before yeah. camp. Yeah. 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 I'm ready. 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 I'm 
and choose out my words. How can you answer him, man? And choose out your words. How can you argue with the Lord, man? Huh? <laughs> what, what, what can you say? Exactly. You can't say nothing, man. Uh -huh. Exactly. You can't say nothing the way the most high set the order up, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Out my words to reason with him. Mm -hmm. 15. Whom, though I were righteous, yet would I not answer. Mm -hmm. Right. Even if you were in the right, man. What the hell? Man, shut the hell up. Uh -huh. Go ahead. But I would make supplication to my judge. That's the only thing you could do is pray, man. That's it. Even if you feel like, but what did I do? Just shut up and just pray, man. Just give him more glory, more praise, and more honor, man. That's what Job did. When you when you when you being hindered, yeah, that's what Job did. He said, I came in this world with nothing, I'm gonna go out with nothing. So when you're getting hindered, that should be your mind frame to put up more prayers. Big them up more. Not act like a little female. Come on. Come on. I still on that, brother. Yo, listen more, to you know? more that verse. Is it more on that verse? Yeah, yeah that's more. All right, finish that verse. 16. Come. If I had called and he had answered me. Right. No, you, you read that. You read 15, right? It was more on that verse. All right, you're in 15, right. Hey, okay. listen, do you know the Lord, maybe the Lord is protecting you, man. Maybe stopping you from catching a bullet at a party. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Most I preserve you, man. Come you know, he's preserving you, man. Wow. Let's get this in and off with the book of Isaiah. I mean, we could go preach up for days, man. Yeah. But that, that's pretty yes. much it, man. Go ahead. Isaiah. 8 and 14. We have Isaiah 8 and 14. Uh-huh. It says, And he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel. Uh -huh. mm. For a jinn and for a snare mm -hmm. to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right, the most I say he's going to be a trap and a snare. Come. All right? He can Come. do what he want to do, man. Come. A rock of offense. Go ahead. 15. And many among them shall stumble mm -hmm. and fall and be broken. And be broken. That's what the Lord wanted to do. Mm -hmm. They're going to be broken. Go ahead. And be snared. And be snared. Be trapped. Go ahead. And be taken. A lot of y'all brothers, y'all trapped. Mm -hmm. But it's the Lord that do it. Yep. Read verse 16. 16. It says, bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. Right. Uh -huh. that's, what, that's what's happening now. The Most High set up a rock of defense for people to, to get crushed and crumbled. But then he binded, he binded up the testimony with his disciples, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. 17. And I will wait upon the Lord. That height of his face... From the house of Jacob. Right. And see, that's what um, 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 Jonah knew. That the Lord was hiding, hiding from him, man. That's why. But he still prayed to him. Because he knew mm -hmm. he was there. He controlled the well. It will spit him out. It will swallow him. It will prepare them. He did all that, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I will look for him. Mm-hmm. 18. Yep. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me. Oh, whom the Lord hath mm -hmm. given me. Mm -hmm. Many are called and few is chosen. Go ahead. Are for signs. Are for signs. We are for we are a token. We are a sign. Go ahead. And for wonders uh -huh. in Israel yes. from the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Well, so we are a sign. When you see the uh, us on the corners preaching, that's a sign, man. Uh -huh. When you see us making these videos, that's a sign. Kind. What happened to Jonah? That was a sign. Kind. What happened to you? I was shy. That was a sign. Kind, and it all makes sense to us, but it's confusion to y'all. Y'all don't get it. Yeah. But hey, that's your lot not to get it, man. <laughs> all right. And guess what, man? We all had our we all had our well. We all kind. had our big fish. Yeah. Right. Kind, right. You know, and the most I, you know, used it to bring us in this truth, man. Kind. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that story on the book of Acts, man. Let me just end it up with that. Which one? Uh, what, 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 uh, Acts nine, Paul, I think it was. Paul. 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 Acts nine and one. Uh -huh. Let me see. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, uh -huh. went unto the high priest. Uh -huh. Verse two, and desired him, desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues that if he found any of this way, whether they were. Men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Right. So Paul was Paul was putting 
the, 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 the righteous people to death, man. The yeah. disciples, the people of the church, the congregation to death. Yeah. Um, verse 3. Come. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined right above him a light from heaven. Yep, keep going. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, what persecutest thou me? Right. So what did the Most High do? He, he, he had to hinder him. Because uh -huh. Paul would have kept going. He even thought he was doing the right thing. Uh -huh. You know, if somebody hindered hinder him. Go ahead. Verse 5, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahushai whom thou persecutest. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. It's mm -hmm. hard. Why are you doing it? Damn. You're going to break you and hurt yourself, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Break your toes. Verse yeah. 6, and he trembling and astonished. Same. Oh, trembling. Now, Paul ain't trembling. proud no more. Trembling. He's shaking in his boots. Yep. He's astonished. Uh, yeah. Said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Mm. What do you want me to do? Yeah, now, now he's taking orders. Mm -hmm. He's just like Jonah. Come. Yeah. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Uh -huh. Verse 7. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless. Hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Yeah, he heard a voice and seen nothing, man. Wow. Go ahead. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. Shit. It wasn't meant for him to see. Yeah. Verse 8, and Saul awoke from the earth, and when his eyes were open, he saw no man. Right, you know why? Because Paul was blind. Wow. See? So the Most High used, used uh, blindness mm -hmm. to humble somebody, man. Wow. You see that? So just because you might be going through sicknesses and elements... Hey, that's that, that's a blessing. Put up more prayers. Come, thank come. the thank the Lord that much more. Yeah. Come. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. Right. Hold and on. while he was going through that, come. the Most High prepared uh, Ananias to be put in the, uh, to put together something that, that was going to um uh, put the spirit on the nice to heal Paul's eye. Come. Come. You see that? See how the Lord worked, man. The Lord worked in mysterious ways, man. Come. All right. Well, let me get that. Amos 3 and 3. He gave his mysteries. I'm, I'm going to get this last one. Yeah, keep reading. Keep reading. It says, and he was three days without sight. Oh, and three days. Oh, three. I didn't even read that. Yeah. Wow. It's powerful. Read that again. And he mm -hmm. was three days without sight. And neither did eat nor drink. So See? Fasted Same too. thing. Yeah, Same said. thing. Because you know when the Lord jacking you up, man. Yeah. You know, man. If you're a man of the Lord, man. And the most high moving in mysterious ways. And it, his ways was only given to the elect men. Kind. All right? Let me get Amos 3 and 7. This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Most High will do nothing, mm -hmm. but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right. And what was the secret? Is that, man, if the Most High use a well, take it as a blessing. Come. If the Most High use a bullet, take it as a blessing. Come. If the Most High use a, 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 a woman, take it as a blessing. Poverty, mm -hmm. take it as a blessing. And you give him more praise and honor, man. All right? With that being said, I'd like to give infinity honors to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rakar Kadash. Ba'ashim Rakar Kadash. That being said, come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Come Yashallah. Shalom. Shalom.